right, everybody. Tech Fest 2009 and always a crowd pleaser is car toys. We love our cars and our toys. And this is YC, Mike, and Ivan who are going to talk to us about Commute UX. Give me an overview. What is it? So Commute UX is about improving the driver experience. People carry in their cars cell phones, media players. They want to work with them, to listen to music, to hear the news. Mm -hmm. And because driving is eyes busy and hands busy task, <laughs> what's left is spoken language. Spoken language. And in most of the existing systems, drivers are required to remember a complex set of menus, to remember the exact name of the song. Mm -hmm. What we design here is a set of technologies which allow flat, say anything, anytime menu structure. And it's a heightened speech recognition. Yes, besides, after the speech recognizer, actually we have a set of very complex technology mm -hmm. technologies which include information retrieval and recognition of the driver's intent, mm -hmm. which allow us to guess from partial names. Uh, in less uh, more than 50% of the time, actually, drivers ask for in, uh, incomplete, incomplete names. Right. And so, like, I know I want to hear Madonna, but I don't remember the name of the song? Exactly, exactly. And we have a technology to find at least the best candidates and to allow the driver quickly to disambiguate which right. song exactly he or she wants to hear. That's awesome. Now, is it just for, like, music and radio? Is there any other commands can it do? Can it, can it do phone calls? Oh, of course, the, 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 calling somebody from your phone book is one of the relatively easy tasks. But yes. what we have in addition actually is something which we haven't seen, and this is voice-enabled user manual. Okay. But I think Mike can tell us a little bit more. Mike, you're on the spot here. You want to tell us a little bit more? Uh, sure. So, so I found uh, one of the most complicated things that I find is is, is sifting through the, the user manual of your car. You're trying to figure out how to change a tire or how to put in your, your baby's car seat. Right. And it turns out that if you actually... You read that thing. Well, you need to, baby's car seat, you know. I, I thought it just sat in the glove box. Yeah, well, my wife, you know, did prefer I not make that part up. So, okay. so it turns out that we can actually crawl all that information and then have it very accessible by voice, which means that you can basically make wow. a single query and the manual page will pop right up. So I could say, how do I turn on my hazard lights? Exactly. I love it. Yeah. Show me, show me. Let's take it out. So we got a little bit of a, we got a Ford here. One of the things that most people you know, cannot do is remember the exact name of the song right. uh, as it exists in their player. So you can say partial things like, for example... Play set them free. So it turns out the actual song name is if you love somebody, set them free. But the part that he says the most is set them free. That's what people are going to ask for. Wow. So then this happens all the time. For example, you know, a lot of times users will say multiple things like, I know I want to play my greatest hits album, but I have a bunch of them, so I don't know which one I want right. to say. So I can say, play greatest hits by ABBA. You got a lot of ABBA there. Well, so what we have here is actually three different greatest hits in my collection, and I know that Abba Gold is actually the one I want, so now I can select that one, mm -hmm. and we get the album. And so what it was offering was all the greatest hits in my collection, and Got with you. the highest priority given the one by Abba, because that's what I specified. And um, finally, you can say things that are completely uh, uh, out of the context of the song, where it's you know, a very small part of the song. One of my favorites is Play Sex Machine. The actual title of the song have to contain at least one of the words? What if I just know the, the chorus of a song? So currently the technology, you have to have at least, I would say, at least one of the words okay. right. And the more words right, the better. But if it's buried among a bunch of other words, we'll still have a, a high probability of giving you the answer. Very cool. I like it. Anything else I should know about this? So for example, uh, on the phone calls, we can basically have one shot all dialing without having to do a bunch of redundant uh, menu structures. So for example, call Constantine at home. So it turns out that I only have one Constantine in my phone book, I don't need to make a bunch of redundant right. uh, prompts back to the system. I write one shot, I get all the answer to the, to the end. Um, now we were talking a little bit about the manual earlier, so let me show you a little bit there. So here I have the car, I don't know when I need to get my oil changed. I can say something like maintenance schedule. And boom, the maintenance yeah, schedule pops here. right up. <laughs> or let's say, for example, this is a, a new a rental car. I just hit a pothole. I don't know, uh, I need to change my tire. At first, I don't even know how to wear the trunk latches. So right. I can say, open the trunk. And here's a latch. And, and now I need to change the tire. I can say, how do I change a flat tire? And right away, the instructions oh pop goodness. up for changing a flat tire. That is so handy. So, you know, this is our system. We're pretty happy with it. And, you know, there's lots of things you can do. Oh, now we have an incoming SMS. Oh. I need you to come pick me up. Iris needs a ride. Now, what messaging system is that using? Is it something you've created? Uh, oops, hold on. Or is it just a text message? Uh, so that's just an incoming text message. And the idea is that we can reply to it. You want to keep, again, eyes on the road, eyes hands on the, the wheel. So you can reply to the incoming message with voice. And basically, we'll find a good text message uh, 
template for that and send that back to the user. Very so cool. for as, so that we can do another another case. Oh, Amy wants a ride too. Reply not yet at 4:30. Not until 4:30. Wow. Send it. And now you can see that it actually didn't take my exact words, but actually right. sent them we got right. The that is so awesome because I personally it drives me crazy when people text and drive at the same time. It's just so not safe. That's right. And exactly. This solves that problem. Exactly. Especially you know more laws are being passed about this stuff, so we need to still you know and users are still no matter what we'd say, users are still going to use their devices. Yeah. So we need to basically enable them to do it in a, a, in safe, a safe way. way. Yeah. And how far off are we from having this in in my actual vehicle? Um, well, we're, we're working on the under the line technologies, and uh, they're progressing, and we're, we're definitely uh, in communication with some of our uh, yeah. product group partners to see to see how it goes. And actually, YC has been working with a lot of those guys uh, more closely, so he can probably tell you a little bit about. Well, YC, step doing. on over here. <laughs> Let's wrap this up. Why don't you tell me uh, when we're going to have it in our hands? What have you been doing? Oh, we have done some uh, usability study uh, two weeks ago. Okay. All of the subjects tell us they want to have this in the car, yes. but they also tell us at the same time they want uh, our system to uh, to be able to handle more situations. Mm -hmm. you know, so actually, I think that will keep us busy for. So they want it now, and they want it better. Yes. <laughs> yes. Gives you a, l a little bit of work to do. Uh -huh. All right. Well, thank you very much. It's called Commute UX, and uh, hopefully soon you'll all have it in your cars. Yes. Safe driving. Thank you. All right.